College of Human Ecology at Kansas State University, researchers focus on people and their needs. The child who wrestles with diabetes and heart disease, he's 10 years old and 50 pounds overweight. The soldier who bloodies his wife, screams at his son, overwhelmed by the transition of war zone to peaceful home. The aging couple who must bid goodbye to the house where they reared their children and found their solace. Our researchers use science to heal, nurture, and enhance lives. One of them is Sandra Stith. She's a pioneer in family violence treatment. Right now I'm being funded by the Department of Defense to do a study to develop a tool to help the, the uh, Department of Defense determine which families and which individuals are more at risk for second incidents of domestic violence. And they're, they're going to use this tool, this instrument, to help to target services so that people that have greater needs will get better services. And with the ultimate goal is to strengthen families, protect families, and, and have uh, enhanced nonviolent relationships. Another is George Wang. He searches for the keys to prevent cancer. Dr. Wang and his team study the link between diet and the disease. In one groundbreaking project, they looked for the answer with anthocyanin phytochemicals and hybrid purple sweet potatoes. Kevin Roberts battles foodborne illnesses. More than half the food we eat is prepared in someone else's kitchen, subject to someone else's food safety habits. Dr. Roberts researches ways to protect restaurant customers from life-threatening infections such as salmonella and E. coli. Jane Garcia is a speech-language pathologist. Edgar Chambers is a sensory analysis scientist. In collaboration between departments common in the College of Human Ecology, Dr. Garcia and Dr. Chambers help those with swallowing disorders regain the ability to eat and drink. Dr. Garcia focuses on viscosity, a crucial step towards meeting a patient's nutritional needs. Another human ecology scientist is Bronwyn Fees. Dr. Fees straps accelerometers to preschoolers so she can evaluate their motion. These toddlers don't realize it, but they are building the foundation for healthy lifelong habits. Gail Dole researches ways nursing homes can deal with sexuality in a positive way. Sexual expression is a part of life no matter what the age. Nursing homes are the second most highly regulated uh, industry in the United States right next to nuclear power, and yet we have no regulations, not even guidelines related to sexuality in nursing homes. And we think this is going to be a really big problem because right now staff don't know what to do about it and as the baby boomers get into that generation, we're going to see more and more of this in nursing homes. Sherry Har and her colleagues lead research in the sustainability movement. They study natural textile dyes, non-toxic manufacturing processes, and renewable fibers. Their eyes are on the future. Dozens of other researchers in the College of Human Ecology use science to answer people questions. Dr. Mark Hobb asks, how do nutrition and exercise influence disease prevention? He researches human metabolic problems. Dr. Joy Kozar wonders, as women age, do they become more accepting of their bodies and appearance? She questions women and studies advertising. Dr. Richard Rosencrantz asks, how can we prevent childhood obesity? He uses anthropometric measurements, body composition, and physical activity data to find answers. In a research world focused on things, our research focuses first and foremost on people. That sets a College of Human Ecology apart. That makes us vital in today's world.